Craft. Craft never changes. Hello there, welcome to the Metal Crafter. I've been saving some plastic battles for a build, but never got a chance to use them. Then I thought they had the perfect shape for Fallout 3 Rain Silos, which you can find out there in the wasteland. I decided to make a standing one and another that has collapsed in two parts. Let's hit the table! I'll be using three simple materials to build the main structure of the site. A round MDF cut as the base, clear plastic soda bottles with a rounded top and no texture, and corrugated paper or cardboard. I first had to decide on the height of the silos. By looking at the reference images from the game, the structure is made of 9 metal panels plus the rounded top. Each panel is around the height of a human. So by taking an average of 5 cm per panel, my silo would end up being 45 cm high plus the rounded top. I thought that was way too tall, so instead decided to go with 5 panels high, making the silo 25 cm high plus the top. The bottles are shorter than that, so I removed the bottom of one bottle and then cut a piece of another one. Made some markings on the bottle to know where each panel should line up and then added the extra piece with tape. Then I took measure of the diameter of the bottle and the MDF base. Used a compass to find the center of the base and marked the perimeter of the bottle. Then cut and glued some pieces of foam leftovers to the base so the bottle would have a better grip once added. Then removed the bottle spout. For the metal panels of the silo, I used some brown corrugated cardboard. I thought the cardboard's brown base color would be very useful during painting and wouldn't require much effort. The actual color of the silos in the game is not very easy to identify. Depending on the hour of the day in the game, you can identify different colors like white, brown and red slash orange. So I went with a mix of all of them. I thought painting the cardboard sheets from the start would be way faster and easier, so first went with random brushes of dry white, then repeated the process with red. The silos look as if they had some kind of chimney, so I cut some long pieces of thick corrugated cardboard and glued them together. I added a small piece with cut edges to the top. Then use hot silicone to glue the chimney to the bottle. But it's not the best option as I cannot regulate the heat of the gun and I slightly bended the plastic. Not much though, so it didn't create any issues. I then cut some stripes of thin chipboard to hide the holes in the corrugated cardboard all over the chimney. Then started adding all panels of corrugated cardboard around the main structure. Again, I used hot glue because I wanted for the panels to glue quickly, but some parts of the battle got bent. I covered the whole circumference, including the side of the chimney. By looking at some game screenshots as reference, I can see that the top part of the panels of each level are more rusty, so added some bright brown with random vertical brushes. Then continued with the consecutive levels and panels overlapping them around 5mm with the below ones. I wanted to depict that some panels are either missing or bent, showing the inside of the silo. So I cut some pieces of the plastic bottle and then only glued part of the cardboard. In these cases I used some epoxy glue 
not to bend the bottle and hold the cardboard in place while it dried with the help of some rubber bands. Follow this process until the whole bottle's surface is covered with the bands. I made the silo stop with EVA but needed for the transition from cardboard to be flatter, so added some cold porcelain to fill in the height difference. Then cut several stripes of EVA around 1.5 cm wide and started gluing them around the bottle, while slightly curving them so they ended up with a curvy shape. Follow with consecutive stripes with the same process, slightly overlapping them with the row below. The flexibility of the EVA made it an easy material to work with. For the top, I cut and glued a round piece. As with the body of the silo, the top's color is not easy to identify. It varies from grey to light brown, so I started the painting process with a base of neutral grey. Then painted the sides of the chimney with gunmetal and used the same color to dry brush the top's grey surface. Prepared a light brown wash and covered the entire top, with several passes so the brown settles in especially between the EVA stripes. As one of the last steps on the standing silo, I painted the MDF base with the same neutral grey to simulate concrete and then applied some black wash. Used liquid silicone to finally glue the bottle to the base. Finally, I added some PVA and used some modeling brown powder as dirt details. Also some dry brushes for final touches. With this, our standing silo is now complete. But I also wanted to make the collapsed version. In that case, I switched some of the steps of the process. I actually started by cutting and painting all of the corrugated cardboard pieces I'll be using as panels. Then prepared the base gluing a stripe of thick corrugated cardboard around the inner circle where the bottle will sit. Painted the MDF with neutral grey and a black one. I cut a one level part of the plastic bottle which I previously primed silver and glued it to the base with epoxy. Again used some rubber bands to hold the panels in place while the glue hardens. I used the bottom of the bottle we originally removed to provide more strength to the structure while added cardboard panels. I hold it with some pieces of tape. As the design in the game, the base of the silo seems to be filled with dirt, rocks and junk. So since I was going to fill the inside, I started sealing the MDF with some decoupage glue. I didn't want to use much modeling paste so instead soaked some toilet paper in a PVA and water mix and created some dirt mounts. Before the paper hardened, I cut a section of the bottle to simulate an access way. Then added a layer of modeling compound on top that could smoothen with a wet brush. While it was still wet, I added some small rocks and regular sand. I've 3D printed, molded and casted different scenery pieces from the Fallout world. So added a cash register, some barrels, a fuel canister, a safe and a 10mm ammo box with some PDA. The collapsed part of the silo is missing more metal panels. So I made some structure marks on the bottle and then cut out parts of it 
where the holes would show. Then added most of the corrugated cardboard pieces with epoxy glue and helping the grip with some rubber bands. I bent some of the edges so it looks as if the metal is twisted. I'll use a bigger piece of MDF as the base and the face of the silo facing the ground would be partially buried. So I removed a straight section of the bottle that will face down. Then cut the corners of the base and sanded them to get smooth rounded tips and sealed off the MDF with decoupage. Went outside and primed the inner face of the bottle to look heavy rusted. Also painted the inner part of the first level with bright brown. Peeled a small and collapsed standing part of the chimney and added small pieces of metal panels from the upper levels. I painted the dirt with my favorite wasteland color, cappuccino brown, and dried brush with neutral gray. Painted the individual junk items and then applied a brownish wash. I spread some spackle over the base and smoothened the surface with some water. Then added the silo and covered the edges with additional putty. Spread some sand and small rocks and painted the dirt. Then sealed with some diluted PVA. Used a little bit of a lighter brown wash over the junk to add rust. Then went over the main base dirt with some black wash and some grey dry brush to make the rocky ground pop up. I pierced through the speckle to add some vegetation over both parts of the collapse side. Finally, went over both silos panels with diluted decoupage to strengthen the structures. With this, we can put our silos out there in the wasteland landscape. I'm really liking this build. I think it's rather easy to make and you only need basic crafting materials. It also makes a cool scenery addition to the Wasteland Warfare table and suits very well with the shack we previously built. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more builds like this. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss any. You can follow me in Instagram and Facebook for further pictures and announcements. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next craft.